Life as we know it really starts with the sun, 93 million miles away. Solar energy is one of the primary building blocks of life. As well as helping to maintain the normal levels of oxygen in the atmosphere, nearly all life either depends on light directly as a source of energy or indirectly as the ultimate source of the energy in its food. The process used by plants to change solar energy into chemical energy is called photosynthesis. This is vital for life on Earth. But it's not just plants that harness light energy. Photobiology, also known as light therapy, is the study of light and has been around for thousands of years. The ancient Greeks are credited with being the first to discover and harness the hidden power of light. Using prisms, sunlight was broken up into distinct colors to treat an assortment of medical problems. Heliopolis, the Greek city of sun, was famous for its healing temples. It was in the late 19th century that Niels Finsen brought scientific recognition to the true power of these techniques. He proved that light has a positive effect on a number of diseases from smallpox to tuberculosis and was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1903 for his pioneering work. Today, photobiology is widely used to help treat a variety of diseases. Babies suffering from jaundice are put under blue light to alleviate their condition. Red light has been shown to increase cell growth. In the United States, the FDA has approved collagen pens using red light to help improve skin tone and reduce wrinkles. Even depression has been linked to sunlight. People suffering from seasonal depression often use special lamps to mimic sunlight. In space exploration, the lack of gravity hinders normal tissue growth in astronauts. After years of extensive research, scientists from NASA have been able to stimulate DNA synthesis and bone marrow growth by exposing cells to near-infrared light, speeding healing and recovery for the astronauts. What is Cellient? Cellient is a revolutionary technology that harnesses the body's natural energy through the use of minerals and fibers. The active ingredients are so small that literally millions fit inside each strand of yarn. Manufacturing Cellient this way ensures that it will never wear off or fade out in the washing machine or through normal wear and tear. Cellient yarn is then woven into fabrics that have all kinds of uses. Today, you can find Cellient in apparel, bedding, hosiery, medical braces, maternity bands, and even veterinary products. Athletes love to train with Cellient because they know their muscles will get more oxygenated blood. This improves their performance and reduces fatigue. Cellient also helps endurance athletes like Ironman competitors recover from grueling training sessions. However, you don't have to be an Ironman champion to benefit from using Cellient. In a recent study, patients sleeping on a mattress made with Cellient woke up less during the night and felt more refreshed in the morning. Who doesn't want a better night's sleep? In clinical trials, Cellient is proven to increase oxygen and blood flow within the tissue. Additionally, Cellient is proven to decrease pain and discomfort caused by poor circulation. This even helps with cold hands and feet. Using Cellient products will help you feel better and enable your body to perform at its peak. The minerals in the yarn act as photocatalysts, which allows them to harness the power of light. Not just visible light from the sun or indoor lighting, but also light invisible to the human eye, like infrared and the light emitted from the body. Did you know that your body generates enough electromagnetic energy to power a 100-watt light bulb? It's true! The energy that powers the bulb is infrared light. It's the light that enables us to see people through night vision goggles, and it can penetrate many layers of clothing, and even wood, concrete, and metal. Cellient absorbs both visible light and the energy emitted by your body, redirecting them back through your skin and into the muscle tissue. This recycled energy relaxes your blood vessels and improves oxygenated blood flow. How can you be sure it's working? By using something called a TCPO2 machine. This machine measures your transcutaneous oxygen, or the amount of oxygen that is reaching your skin and muscle tissue. By measuring TCPO2 levels in people wearing normal clothing and comparing them to measurements in cellian clothing, we can see the difference. 